Hello everyone, Dan here from Sure PT. Uh, I've not had a good week. Um, I'm sick and tired of dealing with this COVID thing. Uh, this last weekend here I cut a tree down, but unfortunately the wind took it from me and it went the wrong way. So I got the Sure, what the heck, why don't we just use this to pull it where it needs to go. So I thought I'd invite you along. little thing that I just love about the Sherp. <laughs> Something really simple. You just flip the rope or whatever it happens to be, if it's a strap, right around this bar, come all the way back through, take advantage of this little rod right here, plop it on, and you're all set to go. Put the camera all set up here so you can see better on what we're looking at. Real quick here. Just zip out. And just got a tree, and it went the wrong way. Oop, that's a long ways up. You know, I was just starting to finish up. I was going to put the shirt away, but I thought I would just talk about this real fast. Take a look at these marks that we have on the ground. Now, granted, this is fairly hard, but it's not really that hard. And this log, I mean, it's not that big, but I bet you that thing weighs, I don't know, a thousand pounds. I didn't dig in hardly at all. So in terms of me driving down here, right, I'm just cruising down the hill, the only marks that are shown are this. So if you drive Mr. Sherp like you would basically a bobcat and don't spin around, you're, you're not going to muck things up. It's just amazing how little impact this thing has on the environment. I know it doesn't appear that that makes sense, but it's true. Mm -hmm. 